Shalom, family. Shalom. Hopefully, everyone is doing wonderful today. Okay, family. Uh, I want to get into uh, this information dealing with the Botham Jean uh, manslaughter, I guess, case or investigation. You know, by now, most people know that uh, the officer, Amber Geiger, she turned herself in a few weeks ago, uh, and then she was released on on, on bail for, um, for manslaughter charges, I guess. But she turned herself into a neighboring county. Uh, I think the county is called Kaufman County. And a lot of people probably don't understand why she did that. Uh, now, before I get into this, uh, this is not legal advice. I do not offer legal advice. The information that I give is just uh, uh, true um, uh, definitions dealing with the a black law dictionary, you know, and just connecting the dots for, to see from the perspective that I see. You know, it's, again, it's not legal advice. It's just information. If you whatever you choose to do with this information, if you choose to study. And research on your own and come up with something different by all means do that um, so anyway with that being said uh, let me give you uh, what I see uh, first and foremost um, I was watching this movie called uh, a time to kill with Samuel L Jackson and I forgot the other actors name in the movie but uh, but in this movie, uh, Samuel L. Jackson's daughter was raped by some white supremacists, like some guys that were part of the KKK. And upon raping her, uh, they, they lynched her and tied her up and beat her and stuff like that. And uh, Samuel L. Jackson asked an attorney, you know, would these guys get off on raping uh raping his daughter and he said it's a possibility because there was another case that happened where these guys where some other guys got off on rape and things of that nature you know being that they was not getting any justice so-called black people were not getting any justice just as we don't get any justice today but anyway so samuel jackson he uh snuck into the courtroom the night before the guys um uh, before they appeared before the judge to have bail set or what have you. And um, he snuck into the courtroom and, and, and upon bringing these guys to, I guess, to their arraignment or what have, have you, Samuel Jackson snuck out and he shot and killed uh, the two, um, the two uh, assailants. And... You know, he fled from the scene, and and, and later on, the the uh, the sheriff and the, the other police came to his house, arrested him. He had a uh, then upon arresting him, he uh, had an attorney, uh, the city's attorney, come to him. One of the local attorneys come to him, and he was asking the guy to defend him. And in in this whole process, you know, he agreed to defend Samuel L. Jackson. And he was saying that he would probably have to get move the move the um, move the trial to a neighboring county that would more favor black people because the county or the uh, city that was they were in were, was predominantly white, you know, and uh, he would probably get a better trial or a fair trial with the jury of his peers. So that made me think about the the Amber Geiger. Uh, the, the officer Amber Geiger, why she, why she turned herself in Kaufman County? Because from my understanding, Kaufman County is predominantly white, so-called white Caucasians, and um, you know that's that's why you know you know these people tell us this is a normal thing that these officers would do and stuff like that, but that's misleading information. Once you really start to dig into it and find out what's really going on, it's, you know, she 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 think that whatever the charges will brought up, be brought up on her, if they can get the trial moved to that county, you know, uh, the people in that county that are, are, are more of uh, closer to her peers, you know, people of her ethnicity, 
will favor uh, a, a more sympathetic uh, uh, verdict for her, whether whether you know whether or not she would get um, uh, the manslaughter. They would be more biased in favor for her. So anyway, let me read this definition, family. Let me let me read this definition right fast, and it's a uh, change of venue, right out of the out of the again out of the Black Law Dictionary. Okay. The removal of a suit begun in one county or district to another county or district for a trial, though the term is also sometimes sometimes applied applied to the removal of a suit from one court to another court of the same county or district. In criminal cases, a change of venue will be permitted for uh, if, for example, the court feels that the defendant cannot receive a fair trial and given venue because of prejudice. Right. Okay, so that is why she turned herself in to Kaufman County. Not with these people telling us that this is something normal that officers do or people do. That's a lie. She's trying to get a change of venue. So the so uh, the, the the counties that's that's around her, she chose a county that was more favorable of of people. Uh, when I say favorable, I'm talking about as far as a population, you know, uh, of of Caucasians and so-called white people. So she can be judged by a jury of her peers. I want y'all to get that. So anyway, with that being said, family, that's the way I feel. Again, once I put the clues together, don't believe nothing I say. Do your own due diligence to show up to study to show thy self approval. With that being said, peace, love, shalom.